tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I am using Stylecraft Baby DK and this is in the colour Baby Mint. You can get 10% off at www.lovemitten.com using the code BELLACOCO at checkout. Please check in the description box below for some more details on that. And you will also need your crochet hook. If you look on the back of your packaging it will tell you what size crochet hook is suitable for whichever yarn that you're using. So this says 4mm so I shall be using my 4mm crochet hook. To do your pom-pom edging you can start with any base. I've actually um, added a small border to uh, my um, blanket before I wanted to move on to actually adding the pom-pom edging. So you could actually just work into these spaces of your cluster of three trebles or these are doubles if you're in the US or you could add something like I have here um, in order to put your pom-poms onto. All I've done here is simply done two double crochets which is single crochets in the US into each um, gap, chained three and then done two doubles again. Um, so I did that all the way around my blanket and now I'm ready to do my pom-pom edging. I've chosen to use the same colour yarn which is this baby blue. So to start with you want to attach your yarn. So I'm going to attach it to this one of these chain three spaces. If you were just going straight from your um, three trebles you would just work into one of these spaces here. So I've tied mine off because that's the way I like to work. And I'm just going to get the yarn ready here. And you want to start off by chaining three. So one, two, three. You are then going to chain three more. And I'm deliberately going to do this first chain a little bit looser. So one, two, three. And then we're going to work a cluster stitch. So to do a cluster stitch you're going to um, yarn over first and insert into the third chain from the hook. So that chain is the one that I left deliberately a little bit looser. So insert your hook into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Try not to make this too tight otherwise it is, otherwise it is going to make it difficult for you. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So you've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two again. And then you have four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You are then going to chain three again. So one, two, three, and then this time we're going to work the stitches but we're going to work it into the top of that um, last puff stitch. So you are going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook. So it should look like you've got um, two cluster stitches, one on top of the other. So what you're going to do now is almost fold this in half so that becomes your pom-pom. To do that you want to insert your hook into this space here which is where we did our original stitch from. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and then pull through the other loop on the hook and that connects it together and then yarn over and pull through and that makes it nice and tight. So we're going to then um, chain three, one, two, three and then what we're going to then do is work into the next chain three space. So I'm just going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull through and then pull through 
the loop on the hook so it's just a slip stitch and then we just continue on so it's chain three one two three I usually put my finger here so I know where that's the end of the chain chain another three one two three cluster stitch yarn over insert your hook into the third loop from the hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, so you have four loops on the hook, yarn over, and then pull through all four, chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to do another cluster. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four, and then we're going to connect. So insert your hook into the original chain space that we were working from, yarn over, pull through, pull through, chain one, to secure and then one two three and move on to the next step I am just going to do a couple more to show you then what you would do in your corners so now I'm just about to work into my corner and it's actually really simple to do you are just going to continue in the same way that you have before And then you're just simply going to go into the corner. So nothing changes when you get to the corners. It actually just works its way out just really easily. And then you just continue all the way around. And then when you get back to the beginning, you just tie off um, and then sew in all your ends. And then you have a really cute pom-pom edging. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye.